All right, guys, I want to do a quick update here. There's two things I want to tell you uh, as far as Windows 7 goes. There's one update that downloads and installs on your computer that will prevent your games from running. Usually it'll say access denied, administrator privileges, or, or you log in as administrator or something will pop up, but the game won't run at all. And then the other one I want to talk to you about is the Windows 10 update. Whenever you see that little box down at the bar, at the bottom of your screen, it says uh, your uh, Windows 10 upgrade will be available soon. I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall those updates to get rid of that. This first update is to uh, get rid of the Windows 10 icon in the bottom of your screen by the clock. Um, what you'll have to do is you'll have to uninstall it, and then you'll have to hide the update in Windows 7. So I'm going to show you that update here. Okay, to get rid of the Microsoft Windows 10 update notification on your Windows 7 computer, what you'll need to do is find this update. KB3033, or K, sorry, KB3035583. Find that update and go to your control panel, click uninstall programs, go to um, go to uh, uh, view installed updates after the complete list of updates installed. You have to go through and you'll search for this. Again, this is KB3035583. Uninstall that update for Windows 7. Uh, home Premium is what I have. And your um, that uh, upgrade icon for Windows 10 will go away. Now, if you have games on your computer that suddenly stops uh, stop playing, it says that you have to log in as administrator. That update that you need to get rid of is going to be KB3086255. So you have to go into again, you know, uninstall programs. Go to the top where it says. Uh, View installed updates. You just right click on that update, KB3086255, click uninstall, and it will get rid of that. You will also want to go in and hide that update from being installed again. Um, I just got rid of that update and I went to try to play my Harry Potter game and it started up this time. So that is uh, what's preventing it. Shut up, Tipsy. That is what's preventing your games from starting. This might not work on everybody's computer, but it worked for me. I'll go ahead and show you these two again so you guys can go through here. You can search for this on Windows 7. I have Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit. Uh, I don't know if this will work on 32-bit or any other versions of Windows 7. Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't, but you can give it a try. But again, this is what I did right here. These are the two updates you need to go in and look for. And uninst completely uninstall and hide them so they won't be reinstalled again. I'll also put this in the uh, description below. And write that number down. I'll also put the, put the uh, names here, uh, these numbers, in the description of this video. So this is what you got to do. Update for Windows 7 for 64-bit based systems. Security update for Windows 7 for 64 based systems. Now, one of the things that I often wonder about is if Windows or if Microsoft isn't actually making updates for Windows 7 that blocks things from working to try to force you into update upgrading to Windows 10. If that's the case, then we got to uh, stand up and say something about this because they cannot force anybody to switch from a perfectly fine Windows 7 program to Windows 10 because I've upgraded to Windows 10 whenever, whenever it was available when I did some of the uh, the uh, the trial ones before the actual software was released and these games will not play with it now the, the Harry Potter games the last three that were released um, uh, Prisoner of Azkaban uh, Deathly Hollows um, and what is this other one? The Goblets of Fire. And uh, Order of the Phoenix. They worked with Windows 10. But the first three, you know, the uh, Chamber of Secrets, the Sorcerer's Stone, um, 
they would not work with Windows 10 at all. It kept bringing up that error. You must uh, be signed in as administrator. It says access denied. But anyway, give this a try, guys. Let me know if it works for you. If you find any other updates on Windows 7 that, that, that's you know been added recently, that's up, that's uploaded by Windows 7 and installed, that prevents a program from working, post that below in the comments section. Let us know which uh, update it is so other people can get this taken care of, get it uh, taken off of their computer so they can play their games. Um, if you know anything I don't know about what Microsoft is doing, post that too. Let's get this stuff out of here so people can uh, can get their systems back up and working like it should. Thanks, guys.